you guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we are focusing on modules, module three, lessons 36 and 37. Yes, we are combining those two lessons because in both of these lessons, we are going to continue multiplying using an area model, but this time we are going to be decomposing two numbers. Yes, you guys, we're going to be decomposing two numbers. So let's go ahead and get some practice in. We're going to do three of these problems together just so that we can get in the mindset and headspace of decomposing numbers using addition. Let's start with 324. What is the value of my three in the number 324? If you said 300, you're absolutely correct. What's the value of my two in the number 324? For sure, 20. And what is the value of my four in the number 324? Good, it's just four because I have four ones. So I had three hundreds, two tens, four ones. Let's actually just do one more and then we can get into our practice for today. 2,498, what is the value of my two? If you said 2,000, you are absolutely correct. What's the value of my four? If you said 400, you're absolutely correct. What's the value of my nine? <laughs> If you said 90, you're absolutely correct. What's the value of my eight? If you said eight, you're absolutely correct. I have two thousands, four hundreds, nine tens, eight ones. So we just got some practice with decomposing numbers and we're gonna need that because today we are going to be decomposing two numbers and multiplying them to find our partial products. Here we go. 14 times 12. Let's go ahead and decompose 14. How would I decompose 14? It equals blank plus blank. If you said 10 plus 4, you're correct. What about 12? 12 equals blank plus blank. For sure, it equals 10 plus 2. So you'll notice today we're decomposing two numbers, whereas last lesson we only had to decompose one number. However, our first number always goes where? Who remembers? Does it go on the side or does it go on the top? If you said it goes on the side, you're absolutely correct. So the number 14, we decompose to 10 plus four and that's our first number. So it's going on the side, which means 10 plus two is going on the yeah, it's going on the top. All right, you guys. Here is the part where a lot of friends get tripped up. I want you to imagine that when you are in, or actually don't imagine because it's the truth. <laughs> when you are in the left side of your boxes or in your area model, you're going to look all the way at the top. All the way at the top. And this is going to be the number that you're multiplying by your second number that you're always multiplying by. Now, if you are in this column on the area model, you're gonna look all the way at the top, and this is going to always be the second number that you're multiplying by. So for example, I know that for this whole column, I'm going to be multiplying by two as my second number. I know in this column, I'm going to be multiplying by what number as my second number? Always. Yeah, 10. And now we just need to figure out what's, what we're multiplying by, by 10 in this first box. So we always start from left to right, left to right. So what am I gonna be multiplying this 10 by? Yeah, 10. All right, same as before, left, to right, we're still on our first number, so left to right. What am I multiplying two by here? Yeah, 10 again. 
All right, you guys. Now let's do the same thing for our bottom number on the left-hand side. What am I multiplying 10 by here? Four. And what am I multiplying two by here? Good, four. So now we filled in our area model and we know the numbers that we're multiplying. Now let's get busy. 10 times 10. What's 10 times 10? 100. 10 times 2. What's 10 times 2? 20. 4 times 10. What's 4 times 10? 40. And 4 times 2. What's 4 times 2? 8. Good job. All right, so we found all of our partial products, and now it's time for us to add them. So I like to go in order. So from left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. So 100 plus 20, plus 40, plus eight. What do we get? 100 plus 20 plus 40 plus eight. What's my product? If you said 168, you are absolutely correct. We're gonna practice with another problem. Here we go. Same as before, we have to decompose these numbers. 32 times 43, 32 equals blank plus blank. <laughs> Good, 30 plus two, 43 equals blank plus blank. Good, 40 plus three. All right, who remembers my first number? Is it going on the side or the top? Yeah, it's going on the side. 32 is my first number, but I decomposed it into 30 plus 2, which means 43 or 40 plus 3 is going on the top. Remember, when you're in this column, you know that the number at the top is going to be your last number in each multiplication sentence in this column. So what number is going to go here? Yeah, 40. What number is going to go here? Good, 40. Same for this column. Your number at the top is going to be your last number in each of these multiplication sentences. So blank plus that number, blank times that number. So what number is going to go here? Yeah, 3. And what number is going to go here? Yeah, three. All right, if you need another trick, check this out. We're looking at rows now. What number is all the way on the left-hand side of this row, this entire row right here? 30. So 30 is going to be our first number for each number in this row. Now let's look at this row. What number is all the way on the left-hand side of this row? Two, so two is going to be our first number in this row. Now let's go ahead and start multiplying. We might need to use a trick here. 30 times 40. I don't know 30 times 40, but I do know <laughs> three times four, and what's three times four? 12. In that number, I took away one zero from here, and one zero from here in order to make it three times four. So how many zeros do I need to add back in to the number 12? Yeah, two zeros. So don't forget your comma because 30 times 40 equals 1,200. Now let's do 30 times three. I don't know 30 times three, but I do know three times three, which is? Nine. How many zeros did I take away? So how many do I need to add back? 
That's right, one zero added back. All right, here we go. Two times 40. I don't know two times 40, but I do know two times four, which is eight. How many zeros did I take away? How many do I need to add back? Good, one zero back. And two times three, we know two times three, what is it? Good, six. So we found all of our partial products, now what are we going to do with them? That's right, add them. So remember we go from left to right, always left to right. So let's start with our first two boxes. 1,200 plus 90. Now we're going from left to right for our next row, plus 80, plus 6. What did we get? Pause the video if you need time. What did you get? Good. 1,376. Now you guys, for this next part, or this next activity, we are going to get some independent work going. I want you to pause the video, and I want you to first decompose both of these numbers, 57 and 15. Go. All right, what do we get? 57 equals blank plus blank. Good. All right, 15 equals blank plus blank. Good. All right, this next part, you're going to pause the video again, and I want you to make sure that you're putting your numbers on the outside of your area model. Bonus points if you can remember which one of these decomposed numbers goes on the left side. Go. What goes here on the left side? If you said 50 plus 7, you're absolutely correct. What goes on the top? If you said 10 plus 5, you're absolutely correct. All right, next step. I want you to figure out what numbers you're multiplying for each of these boxes in your area model. Go. Pause the video. All right, I should be unpaused. In this row, I'm sorry, in this column, what is the last number that, that you're multiplying in this column? If you said 10, you're correct. In this column, what's the last number you're multiplying? If you said five, you're absolutely correct. Now let's go to our rows. In this row, what's the first number you're multiplying? If you said 50, you're absolutely correct. What about this row? If you said seven, you're absolutely correct. Pause the video, it's your time to multiply. All right, I should be unpaused, 50 times 10, if that number is a little bit too big, I hope that you guys use that strategy to help you. I don't know 50 times 10, but I do know 5 times 10, which is 5. And then how many zeros did you take away? Yeah, 2. So you have to add those two zeros back. All right, 50 times 5. What did you get? 250, yeah. Because you're taking away one of these zeros to make 5 times 5, which is 25, and then you're adding that zero back. All right, 7 times 10, what'd you get? 70. And 7 times 5, what did you get? You should have gotten 35. Pause the video. I want you to add all your partial products to find your final product. Go. All right, you should have put 50 plus 250, plus 70, plus 35. We're going from left to right, from left 
to right. And what did you get when you added 50? I'm sorry, added 500 plus 250 plus 70 plus 35. Awesome job, 855. You guys, we've been practicing this for quite some time. If you need some more practice, do this problem right here. And if you want, you can take a screenshot of your answers and then show me a picture of it. You can send me a text, you can email me, you can call me, but I want you guys to continue practicing if you are not getting the hang of it after slide five. Practice slide six and then go back and rewatch the video with paper and pencil again and do the problems over. Until next time, see you guys.